My name is Hemangi Shavon. I am an advanced practitioner for thoracic surgery. You will be asked to attend the pre-admission clinic once you have seen your consultant surgeon and offered a surgery as your treatment plan. The purpose of the pre-admission clinic is to assess your fitness for surgery and to also do some tests and investigations which you may need before coming for your surgery. Attending the clinic also gives us an opportunity to give you more details about your surgery and an opportunity for you to ask us questions. During your visit, uh, we will do a full medical examination. We will ask you about your health, ask you the medical history, we'll ask you any past operations you had, if you had any problems due to that, and also your home circumstances in preparation for your discharge. We will also ask you about your allergies, and also what medications you take. So it's important that you get your medications with you or your prescription list with you when you come to the clinic. During the visit, we will do certain tests, which includes blood test, a chest X-ray, an ECG to assess your heart rhythm and skin swabs. I understand uh, going through the surgery is quite a stressful time for you. But please be reassured, this is the opportunity for you to ask me questions about your surgery and allay any fears or doubts you have in your mind. I will generally see you one to two weeks before your operation date. The operation date, you may come in the day before or you may come in the day of. There are reasons for you to come in the day before if we need to give you certain medications, but the majority of people will come in the day of. That means essentially coming in at 7 o'clock in the morning prior to your operation. Our job here is to explain everything to you, to try and alleviate any fears and worries that you might have, and so that you understand exactly what's going to happen up coming in, on the day and afterwards. We often get asked, you know, will it hurt when I have my surgery? And the answer to that is there will be some degree of discomfort or pain. Um, as with any intervention that we do, whether it's putting a line, you know, taking blots, or the surgery, depending on, you know, how extensive the surgery is, there is a degree of pain and discomfort. However, what's really important to get across to you is that pain is very individual. It's a very individual experience. It's based on your previous experience. You might you know, be very anxious, have some fear about what's about to happen, and that all impacts your pain as well. You may also have pain already, um, you know, a chronic back pain or other sort of aches and pains, and those can impact on your pain as well. So all those things are really important that when you come into hospital, should you have any chronic pains, please let us know, because we will adapt the pain management according to that. That also means some patients come in with pain management from home, taking various pain medicines, it's really important that you bring those medicines with you to a hospital so we can see what you're on. We advise all patients before the surgery to think about their diet and making sure you're getting enough energy protein and your vitamins and minerals for the surgery. So that means eating plenty of protein foods, so at least two to three portions every day, making sure you're getting your fruits and veg for your vitamins and minerals and plenty of carbohydrates at each mealtime as well. So basically just making sure that you're trying to maintain a healthy weight if you are underweight, then trying to think of ways to increase your intake by have, adding in extra snacks, mm. nourishing fluids, drinking milk, and nutritional supplements might also come into play. We would recommend before you have the surgery to try and be as active as possible. To do this, we would recommend walking as an activity. So if you could walk for up to half an hour a day, that would be perfect. And we would say to walk at a pace where you feel slightly short of breath, but can still talk in full sentences. If walking isn't something that you do normally or you're not quite as active as that, there are other things around the house that you can do um, to help improve your fitness. So things like climbing the stairs, standing up off a chair, generally moving around more, and also things like doing the housework, so hoovering or dusting.